What's up guys, JFM here, welcome back to episode 92 of the Let's Play. <laughs> Today, I am very, very excited. I've got some great plans and some awesome stuff to show you guys from in between last episodes. Of course, though, we need to visit the subscriber palace first. Let me show you guys the people who made the list. Take a look. There they are. The great cool man, the Alaskan husk, Jetro, Trinidad, and creepy dude 123. Their comments will appear on screen. Thank you guys so much. Not only to them, but to everybody who commented on last video, I really, really appreciate the support. And before I begin today's episode, I do have to acknowledge one thing. Last video, I asked for 6,000 likes, which is crazy, which is ridiculous. But look what you guys did. You guys are ridiculous. Ridiculous! I don't even know what to say! I had no idea you guys were capable of this! This is absolutely mind-blowing! Oh man! I'm just, I'm so excited for this series! I had no idea you guys liked this series so much! It's absolutely ridiculous! Thank you so much to each and every one of you who dropped a like on last episode! That is absolutely Magnificent. So today, I, I doubt we can do that again. What I will say though, what I will ask for is just 10,000, which is ridiculous, which is insane. But 10,000 likes, can you do it? I, it? I don't know, we'll find out, we'll find out. But yes, guys, <laughs> I'm, ju I'm, just, I'm just in shock, really. I'm just in shock. So because you guys treated that like button so well last episode, I have a great day of stuff planned. Starting with uh, new things on the iron farm. I'm going to enchant some uh, stuff, some armor, maybe some swords, some weapons. I don't know. I will also be exploring new land uh, at the Nether Express. So we've really got a lot of things to do today. Starting off with some lamps. I just wanted to make a few simple lamps here as you can tell I've extended the walkway finally out to our fishing hut and the nether portal dragon face the majaga <laughs> so yeah I don't want all these torches to light it up I would rather well I'm gonna keep a few of them but I would rather have the cool uh, the cool lantern style design that I made earlier. So let's go ahead and add some. For those of you that don't know how to make them, I'm gonna make one really quick. All you need is a little bit of spruce and a little bit of uh, stone brick stuff. And then the hardest thing to get is probably honestly uh, the, the daylight center, which I won't have right now. I'll have to just make them a bit later. I have enough quartz. I just don't have enough glass, I don't think. So I'll have to do that maybe in between episodes, but let me just go ahead and place these down. So this is what they look like and this redstone lamp will be on once I figure out a way to get more redstone uh, lamp sensor thingy-majiggies daylight sensors yes so you put them where this dirt would be you invert them and then you place this wooden slab on top and that's a pretty cool lantern design it will turn on a night and stay off during the day Right now, it won't do that just because I have dirt there, but you'll see. It'll look cool. Oh, and then also, we got to place these gates. Just, you know, they look like supports. I, excuse me. Fence gates. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go. One down. I'll add a few more here, and then we'll begin with the rest of the stuff. And there we go. So, I've added three. There's one right next to the farm. There's one sort of over this way, and there's one over there. I might add one close to the fishing hut, maybe right there. I don't know. We'll figure it out later, but I really like the lamps. Now, I've just got to gather enough glass to make those, uh, those daylight sensors. But for now, that's all I want to do there. Now, today, the biggest two things I want to do is I want to show you guys new improvements on the iron farm all the way over there and I also want to enchant armor but first let's visit the iron farm hey take a look it's clearly working is that what is this is this Two? Yeah! Okay, cool! Two iron golems in the farm! Awesome! Now, I really want to thank you guys. Oh, between Twitter and YouTube comments, I got thousands of tweets, comments, messages, suggesting different ways to fix this, and I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys rock! Now, the easiest way to do it, I could have used iron trap doors, buttons, there's a ton of different ways. The biggest issue I was having, however, was the fact that there was air next to the sign. So, the easiest way to fix this, uh, can Considering the way I was doing it earlier is just to add double signs. So yeah, let me go ahead and kill these guys though Let me see what these guys are gonna draw. No idea. I'm gonna add the lava now so I don't have to do this later, but 
Let's see what they drop these. Oh my goodness, look at these tanks. There we go, one down, okay. Okay, and I will need to add hoppers as well. That's another thing I'm gonna need. Now, these aren't gonna spawn very much. It's kind of weird, they're kind of, I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing, really, because because the it's it's like, I think they're supposed to spawn every like five to six minutes So it's a long time in between it's not that efficient, but at least you don't have to go mining for iron, which is nice uh, Anyways, let's go ahead and place this stuff down and then I think how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Okay, that will connect to that. No, 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 I know how to do it Okay, let me do this. So I placed down two chests right here Ah I've got it the redstone noob. I think okay. Well, I need to break this now <laughs> The redstone noob may have figured out the way to do this. So let me see if I connect the hoppers to the back Is that how this needs to be done? I think it is so we'll connect the hoppers like this Ah, Okay. Oh, that's not it. There we go Now I need to get rid of this one and place it down so all of the hoppers actually lead into the chest, which is nice. Next thing I want to do is add the layers of signs. So check it out. If I add two layers of signs, make sure there's no air in between them. What will happen is there's no room for the for the signs to catch on fire. Don't ask me why Minecraft does that. I don't know. But it is what it is. I also added a little bit of redstone. One of the comments from today, uh, from Jetro, I think was his name, he suggested that I added a button to dispense the lava instead of having it there permanently and I like the idea doesn't it's not really necessary but I like the idea so what I did was I added a redstone uh, signal from this button and gee why what are you guys doing down here cheese <laughs> Okay, um, I added this and yeah, so it's just gonna add a little bit of spice to this build what I'll do Oh my goodness. We've got a new one. Let's test it out ladies and gentlemen. Let's test it out <laughs> Okay, you guys want to hit the button? No, okay. I will let's see there we go lava dispenses iron golem catches on fire He begins to die. Does he drop stuff? Oh, my, they're mating down here. Oh, no. Oh, no <laughs> I know I have a lot of villagers up there. Okay, let's check it out so now I can retract the lava? Is that gonna work? I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, no! No! It's not gonna work. Okay, you know what I will do? Ah, man. So when you retract the lava, it starts burning. Okay? <laughs> I guess I'll just use iron doors. It'll be the same- or not iron doors, iron trap doors. It'll be just as easy, and I'll be able to keep the redstone. So yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, not now, though. I'll do that later. Oh, and let's check! I didn't look! Yes, we got four pieces of iron so we can actually wait 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 Can we make the trap doors here? I'm gonna need four. I can make three Interesting, okay. Well, maybe we can do it now And then I'm also gonna need a few of these redstone torches because they need to be activated in order to be open So let me try this uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, I'm gonna need to break this again. Jeez Louise. Okay, hold on. Okay, so the trap doors are in. Now, I think if I use levers, this should work? Yep, they open with the levers. Okay, so these obviously won't burn no matter the time of day. And I actually think it looks a little bit better than the science to be. It just looks nicer, more industrial. So now, I guess what I'll do is just wait for another one of those guys to fall and burn them up. And, uh, or just slice them down. And then we'll add that last fence or thingy. Oh, no! Oh, okay, 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 relax! Relax, relax, spider. I'm just trying to show him a little tutorial, dude. Chill, man. Jeez. <laughs> well, anyways, I think that just about wraps that up. Now, the next thing I'm going to do today is go ahead and visit the nether and go to the blaze farm to get XP. Once I do that, I'll visit my enchanting tree house and enchant some new diamond stuff. Not sure what just yet, but we'll figure it out. Ladies and gentlemen, I spy a challenge. Look at that. We've got a spider jockey. This could be interesting. Okay, this is very interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I mean, I love that. I love that. And with the new update, whenever strays come out, I'm pretty sure they can ride zombies as well, which is going to be pretty cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and visit the nether. Now, what I want to do is take the train ride over to... Oh, no. I don't have a mine... I'm too lazy to go get a mine car to get... I guess I'm walking. Okay, now the cool thing about this is if you take a look in this chest... Oh, Joe, no, 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 no. Not today, not today, not... No, he just broke part of the thing, didn't he? He just broke part of the thing, didn't he? 
Dude, relax! What are you doing? I didn't see- Oh my gosh, and you've got a friend too. And you've got three- Okay, whatever. I have stuff in this chest, and I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so, let me just see. Did he break it? Okay, he did not. I just need- Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Can he see me? Think I'm good? Let me grab this chest now, and let me grab all the valuables out of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. Yeah, ever since I made this, I honestly thought like I lost my stuff, but it was right there all along. <laughs> so, I've got the diamond tools back. I'll still probably enchant fresh ones though, because I don't know, I like fresh ones. Anyways, let's see how long these blazes start to drop. Hey, our first rod of the day. I'll take it, there we go. All right, now we just gotta wait for a few more. I see a lot up there. Just gotta wait for them to start falling down. There we go. Already up to level 17? This shouldn't take much longer, I'd say. I've just been chilling here, and they really do fall. Like, every second or two, a new one falls. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, not every second or two, but they fall very often. See, I just, I don't even have to stop swinging, really, just to be honest with you. Look at all these dudes! I can't even keep up! Holy cow! Okay, so this should probably push me over the barrier. I've been waiting for like three minutes, just checking Twitter, relaxing, and look what just showed up! Oh, I might be here for a while, actually, to be honest. I, oh, jeez, wow, this is ridiculous. And the 30 mark has been hit. I still have a long way to go, I think. I'm still lagging like crazy, so hopefully, you know, I'll probably try to get up to level 36, 37, something like that, just so I can enchant, like, three, four things. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, you guys sent me some great suggestions on ways to improve this farm. But honestly, I don't think I need to because it's working so, so well. They just keep coming down. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to stop there because really, I, 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 I don't know, man. It's, it's absolutely crazy. So what we got today was a stack in 46. Uh, blaze rods. That's fantastic. So what I'll do now is go with my 36 levels, create a whole new set of diamond stuff, tools and all, and then we'll pick what we want to enchant, and hopefully my goal is to get a looting sword. Hopefully we can do that. Okay, so let's put away some of this extra stuff I have. I think that I have an armor- okay, I have an armor chest right here. I can get rid of some of that. I have some mob drops and some extra stuff that I can get rid of, and then what we'll do is we'll make an uh, uh well, no. I was gonna- okay. What we'll do is we'll make a diamond sword, a diamond pick, and uh, some diamond armor? I think that's probably what I want to do. Alrighty, so on the list of things I made to enchant, I made a sword, I have a bow, uh, I made a chest plate, boots, and I also made a pickaxe. I really want to get a good thing of any of those. So we'll see what the first enchantment I need to go get lapis. Jeez, I, oh man, oh, I keep forgetting. It, uh, sad. Just sad. Okay, it's time. Let's see what we can get. So on a sword, our best thing is sharpness three. That's guaranteed. I'm not liking that. So what if we do this chest plate? Protection three, still not liking it that much. What is that gonna be protection three? No, thorns two on the boots. What about the bow? Flame one, I, I can, I, I actually like that enchantment. And then if we do, what was the other thing? The pickaxe? Fortune three, okay, we know what we're doing. We know what we're doing here. Fortune three on the pick first, that's awesome. And efficiency four. Oh, I didn't even enchant the right pick. <laughs> well, it is what it is. I've got a brilliant pick, that's awesome. Now, let's see what else we can enchant. So this sword is gonna get, no, no, not doing Bane of the Bods. What about this? Blast protection, not really needed. I want feather fall, Depth Strider would be nice. What about this bow? What can I get on this bow? Unbreaking three, um. I have 33 levels, so one more enchantment that's gonna be full. No, two more, actually. Okay, huh, let's think. I, you know what? I like the Depth Strider. Let me do Depth Strider on these boots, because there could be something else. Nope, just Depth Strider. That was kind of lame. Okay, and for this final one, let's see. Thorns 2, not that big of a deal. Fire Aspect 2. I like it, I like it, I like it. Oh, what? Interesting. I can't enchant the sword. What? Oh, there we go. Okay. Go. And smite four. Not, not not too bad. It's not what I would love, but it's okay. It's all right. Now, what I quickly want to do is go ahead and sort this out. Make sure I leave anything behind that I don't want. So, I don't need this sword right now. Um, I don't need... Uh, well, you know what? No, I think I need everything else. Okay, that's good. I like it. I'll keep it. I'll also leave this lapis behind as well. 
so we'll put on our new Depth Strider 3 boots. I like it, I like it, I like it. And I will also leave some of this extra stuff that I can enchant later upstairs. That should be good, that should be good. All right, all right, all right, perfect. So now what we've got is we've got an epic pick with Fortune 3 and Efficiency 4. That was easily the best enchantment we've got by far. But at least we have Fire Aspect on this uh, sword now. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is a little bit risky. I'm gonna take all of this stuff that I just made and I am just gonna go and explore the new area we found, just a little bit, to see what's up over there. I have no idea what's that way, so... Okay, let me go get a... <laughs> Why do I always forget? And since I just went to get iron to go finish up the uh, the minecart, I thought why not just go ahead and grab a little bit more so that I can finish off this build and call it a day. Now obviously, I'm not done yet because what I need to do is of course, you know, add a nice building around here, make it look good, but for now, I would say I'm pretty much done. So we'll go ahead and activate that and there we go. Now if I still have that red clay, of course I do, I can place it right there and we should be good. Now. As as far as the rest of the build goes, I need to add some sort of building to make this look nice, some sort of a nice safe base, and then I want to kill all these villagers that are spawning down here, because I think they might be messing this up. I think, I don't know how they're getting down, I think they may be falling out when they spawn, not too sure. This needs to stop though. These shenanigans, they need to stop. Look at all these kids running around. Anyway, so now let me try the mechanism one more time. I don't believe it should burn even when I get rid of it. So let's take a look. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, now what happens when I get rid of this? Lava, we'll see. Anything gonna burn? No! That is what I'm talking about. There we go, perfect. So everything worked out well. We can finally say that the actual spawner is done. Now what we need is a nice room around it, and I'd say we did a pretty good job. Another thing I wanna say before I go that I wanted to mention earlier is there's a really nice spot in between the walkway and this farm for a nice fountain or maybe some nice, uh, I don't know, some nice flowers, something that would look really, really cool. I just need to figure it out and hopefully we can get something done next episode. So if you have any ideas, go ahead, build them on this world, and send me pictures and let me know. But for now, it's time. And the ride is over. So we can walk out. Do I need to put anything down here? No, I don't think so. Let's go ahead and enter into the new realm. Now, I believe I should have a way easily upstairs. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see. Is there... Did I make... Which way do I go? This way, hopefully? Let's see. And we have daylight! Awesome! Okay, let's take a peek. Where are we? Oh, man, this is definitely not the... Oh, jeez, this is bad, actually. This isn't good. Let me go back. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is the way out I was using. I just need to climb up this waterfall. It's gonna be a pain, but once I get up, I will be out of here. Perfect, so I believe this is the exit. Yes, 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 awesome. Now what I wanna do is I just wanna trail where I go with torches. I don't know exactly what is around this area at all, so I thought today I'd explore it with you guys, but I'm going to need to be able to get back. So torches, I think, are the easiest way. In the nether, I like to use like cobblestone blocks or something like that. This time, I'm just gonna trail with torches so I'll be able to find my way back. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to make a few more though. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Another cool thing, with this brand new fire aspect sword, I should be able, yep, to get cooked meat instantly. I love it, awesome. So great way to find food. Definitely don't need to be bringing too much considering it's that simple to get it. Now, it's time, let's just start exploring. Okay, so I'm up on this vantage point. I wanna put a torch right here. I don't see much. I think what I'll do is probably go this way. It looks as there's, uh, I think there's like a taiga over this way. Obviously, I can see some of this. I'm not sure if it's just part of the extreme hills or not though. So we'll figure this out. We'll find something cool. Dude, all of this terrain is really, really weird. It's pretty much like stone on the surface. I'm not too sure why this is happening, but it's pretty cool. I really want to find some sort of settlement, some sort of structure. That would be really, really cool. Or a new biome. Um, let's see. No. Same old, same old tiger. All right, let's go this way. Cliff diving. Oh, that was close. That could have been bad. All right. Let's get, oh my goodness. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Okay, I know what this grip. I know what this is. Yep, Enderman. Okay. So for some reason, whoops. They. Uh. Oh my goodness. I need to. I need to. Okay. Okay. This is bad. This is pretty bad. I need to heal up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's relax. Oh man, I just found a dead end island. I definitely think I went the wrong way. Um, that's sad. All right, you know what? Should I go back? I think I will. Hold on. All right, I'm back after a very, very long trek, and I believe, yeah, okay, I think the area that I came from is right over there, so what I'll do this time is branch off this way and see what's to the right, because obviously, to the left, there's nothing but uh, spruce forest and uh, and an ocean. So let's go this way and see what this is all about. It looks very similar, but I've got to believe there's something else over here, right? It just makes sense. Okay, zombie villager, no good. <laughs> oh, guys, take a look, take a look, take a look. We've got ourselves a witch. This could be bad. This could be very bad. This could be very bad. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we didn't even get to throw a potion. Did we get instant health? Oh. Oh, awesome! Okay, I love that. Okay, so with this sword, witches will spend too much time trying to get rid of the fire, drink fire-resisting potions or healing potions, and they won't actually be able to have time to throw potions at you, unless they catch you off guard. That would not be good, but... That was not the case. I pounced him, so I'm very pleased with that. Make sure I get down these torches, and I think I'll have to make a few more really quick. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, this looks very, very similar, but uh, we can still work. We can still work with this. Guys, this depth strider is crazy. Look at this. Look at how fast I can swim. It's like I'm sprinting on land. This is absolutely ridiculous. I love it. I may, it may be, like, honestly just as fast as boats. That's pretty cool. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Well, anyways, I guess we can continue on here. Um, oh! Oh, okay, look at this, guys. I found the new biome. It's a tundra biome. Interesting. Oh, okay. Let me get past these creepers here, and let's take a look at this. It's a snowy biome. I like it. You know what we need to do? You know what we need to do? We need to find a pumpkin. We need to find a pumpkin. <laughs> Okay, not too much in here. Honestly, it's a cool biome, but there's not much inside of it, so <laughs> I guess I gotta search around and see what I can find. Not too sure, though. All right, guys, so I, I honestly think it's it's not that much. I've been exploring for quite a while now, and I just don't seem to find anything. It's kind of upsetting. So what I'll ask is this. Do you guys want me to explore this place more, check it out, see what's up, or add a new stop to the Nether Express in a different location so that I can find somewhere else new. I was hoping to find somewhere exciting, but this honestly just isn't that interesting. I mean, this snow biome is cool, but there are no structures here. There's nothing really going on. It's just kind of a snow biome. So let me know what you guys think, if you guys would like to see me explore somewhere else, or try to deal with this and, and work with what we got. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. At least we know, however, it's good for mining, because we spawn right in extreme hills, which means emeralds, which is good. Other than that, Everything else is pretty plain, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, guys, that just about wraps it up for today's video. Now, and I wanna apologize, I forgot to add a poll in the last episode, but if I do remember this episode, please go ahead, if you're watching, check the top right of the screen and vote for what we do in the next episode. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna go ahead, head back to the portal and figure out what to do next in this awesome survival world. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.